ya asilimia sabini mwaka wa elfu mbili na thelathini ya kuhakikisha watoto wote wananyonyeshwa kuanzia kuzaliwa hadi kufikia miezi sita hii ni kulingana na washikadau kutoka sekta ya afya wanaosema kwa utafiti wa KDHS uliotolewa hii majuzi unaonyesha idadi ya watoto wanaonyonyesha wanaonyonyeshwa miezi sita ya kwanza imepungua kwa asilimia moja kutoka asilimia sitini na moja mwaka elfu mbili kumi na nne hadi asilimia sitini mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na mbili Kulingana na wataalamu hao wa afya kupungua kwa asilimia moja katika idadi ya watoto wanaonyonyeshwa kikamilifu kwa miezi sita ya kwanza nchini ni ishara tosha taifa halitaweza kuafikia azma yake ya asilimia sabini kufikia mwaka wa 2030. The, the statement that says that Kenya will not reach that. Well I think it's meant to challenge us much more than to make it say that now that is cast in stone unless all of us work together then we are not at our very best. When you see us now dropping as opposed to rising the exclusive breastfeeding, we, I mean the exclusive breastfeeding, it therefore means that uh, the trajectory is not very promising, which is unfortunate. So we've got to put efforts, we've got to pull our efforts together to ensure that we change it from dropping to increasing so as we're able to meet the target at the year. Upungufu huu wataalamu wanasema kuwa utaathiri afya ya watoto, akina mama na jamii kwa jumla huku sekta ya afya ya elimu na ya ajira ikififia. If we don't reach our targets for exclusive breastfeeding, it means number one, we are disadvantaging the children that are not exclusively breastfed. Uh, if we had space, then I will tell you that when children don't get the exclusive breastfeeding, we are giving them an inadequate inappropriate diet before they are tiny. That means that they do not grow as expected. If children do not grow as expected, then we are giving them room for them to suffer from malnutrition, and malnutrition has its own effects as far as the capacity of the child is concerned. Vile vile wataalam hao wanasema kuwa kuongezeka kwa idadi watoto wanaolishwa kutumia chupa kutoka asilimia 22 mwaka 2014 hadi asilimia 34 mwaka jana ni jambo linalohitaji kuangaziwa kwa kina. The, of course the danger as far as this is concerned is that uh, babies that are bottle fed they have what we call a nipple confusion or they are likely to suffer they may not be able to attach very well or to enjoy the breastfeeding because they have known an easier way of getting milk without having to, to suckle because suckling has some efforts to be put into that and the efforts is what helps to develop the jaws of the baby even as this baby grows. Baadhi misho ya wiki ya unyonyeshaji duniani yanaratibiwa kuanzia hapo kesho hadi tarehe 7 mwezi Agosti kauli mbiu ya mwaka huo ikiwa kuboresha hali ya kina mama wanaonyonyesha kazini. Zainab Mohamed, T47.